and probably for many of you out there, is you owned a business or been part of a business, or at least you've paid taxes, and you don't understand why you're required to do certain things. And this is one of the things that frustrated me as a small business owner. There's all these things that no one told me about that goes, now you got to pay all this extra money and you got to do all this extra paperwork. And oh, by the way, the way you think you need to do it and the way it's actually done aren't even close. So you can't even do it. You must hire a professional, right. accountant, lawyers, all these other things. Right. And that is the joy of a, one of the joys of being a small business owner is you're thrust into a whole nother world that as, you know, me as a chiropractor, but I'm sure anyone who has a, a skilled labor, like whether it's a plumber or an artist. Even just a talent, right? Just just is, say, a talent like an artist or a right. mechanic or whatever. Right. Your expertise isn't necessarily accounting no. or business management or an organization of those things. Well, and that's where also what we're doing really, really fires off and helps the small business owner because you know what else their expertise isn't? It isn't in marketing their product. Like it that. isn't in building an audience, and it isn't in gaining worldwide right. exposure. And right. This is what right. most people are completely clueless about, and 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 quite frankly, they're 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 stabbing around in the dark trying to figure it out. Well, that's exactly what I was doing, and I wouldn't say stabbing around in the dark because I was learning lessons along the way. Boom, boom, boom. But but you had I to wasn't... organize them yourself. You had to try to figure out where they fit right. in play. Right. And 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 if if you're not if this isn't your expertise, you don't know these things, right. and you've you, you spent your whole life. I mean, you, not your whole life, but you spent a good portion of your life becoming a doctor in right. chiropractor. Right, right, absolutely. Um, and continue training, continue education to expand to become better and better and better for my clients and for my patients. Right, and to be, to be a great chiropractor, you're going to continue to do that. Right, indeed. But I, what was also recognized when I opened my doors and I hadn't marketed and no one comes in the door is, oh my God, I got to have a high accelerated learning curve about how to market or I'm going to, I won't be even open for business for more than three months. Right. Somebody's got to help me put dollars in my pocket. Okay. I need, I need, and, and, and honestly, that is the, that's the key to any business, including ours. Right. Including ours. Here's the thing. Leads. Yeah. Leads. And then we're not talking about mortgage sales, but we are. We're not talking about doctors, but we are. We're not talking about artists, but we are. Yeah. Listen, if nobody's buying your products, you're not making any money and you can't keep doing what you're doing. Right. Cost money to live in this world. You got to pay a cell phone bill. You got to you got to wake up. You got to pay for a place to eat. You got to eat. Right. I mean, you got to right. you got to do these things. So in order to get by in this world, you got to have money. Okay. Right. And so what happens? I want to hold you. Is that many individuals like myself who are doing it for the passion, doing it for the love, wherever that wherever that passion is taking you. Your eye may not be on the business prize, so to speak. So you're giving things away. You're doing things for free. Your things aren't. Business isn't geared to make you money for your efforts, not leveraged that way. And so what happens is you're swimming and you're drowning and you're trying to get it out, trying to get out of the water or you're just you're getting sunk, sunk, sunk. Right. And you're trying to piece things together yeah, yeah. And, 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 and build a masterpiece. But, man, you're still learning how to draw. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that's, that's a rough place that a lot of small business owners find because here's the thing, man. I mean, how many small business owners really have an extra grand, two grand a month to throw at a marketing team? <laughs> well, hopefully you can. Hopefully well, you well, can. But I know for after three years, I didn't have two thousand dollars to throw at a marketing team. Even though many people would say that would have been the wisest money to spend. May, that, uh, it may have. It may have been. Right. But practically, most businesses are in a place mm -hmm. where, especially as they're getting going, and especially as they're still a small business before they have a hundred or more employees, mm -hmm. they're in a place where they need to re allocate almost all of their resources to developing the business mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because that's what they're in business to do is to serve their clients, customers, whatever, or their patients. And <clears throat> through putting those resources to that, you sell yourself short on perhaps the marketing that you may have needed. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that marketing budget ends up being directed towards your learning curve because you end up throwing a hundred dollars at an ad that, performed nothing nothing or no roi as they said no roi zero. like like literally <laughs> zero return on investment matter of fact it was all investment and no return and it was it, all it was all investment in education education that's not the way <laughs> well and, and here but that's a good education right well and, and it's funny it's, it's field. one of the things that uh that that dave wood says in his trainings is is that there's nothing that will teach you better than doing something the wrong way. Right, right. Nothing will teach you better than screwing up because you realize real quick, like, all right, I'm not doing that again. Mm -hmm. So, 
But the problem is a lot of small business owners, they go through years of that yeah. before they actually figure out right. the way that they are going to do it at time and time again. And, and, and they're bleeding financially the whole time. And, and their business is yeah. sacrificed. Their business is suffering because they're trying to make it better. And, and, that, and the, they're suffering. Of course. Because essentially their creation, their, their baby... Is not it's dying. It's dying. It's dying. Right on, right on, right on the table right in front of them. them. Yeah. Right, and 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 the worst part is they're working their ass off to try to save it every day, yeah. and and spinning their wheels yeah. because all their money's going out the window. Right. Instead of coming back at them, and and it's it's a place that a lot of people find themselves that that are small business owners. Absolutely. Uh, especially home businesses. You know, people that are running businesses out of their home, mm-hmm. or trying to start an online business, mm-hmm. or or have a practice such as yourself, and they're trying to, you know, build build their audience and and, and their clientele through that. Right. And and it's it's a universal trend throughout that that people need help exposing themselves to a larger market. They need help presenting their product or right. their service right. professionally. Professionally.